Hey there, I'm Katie, your trusty safety guide. Today we're tackling a topic that's relevant whether you're at home or on the job, kneeling and squatting. Yep, there are plenty of situations where we find ourselves needing to get down the low to pick something up, get closer to a task, or for various other reasons. While these positions can be useful, they also come with their fair share of risks. Performing them incorrectly can spell trouble for your back, spine, or knees, but fear not, because in this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know to stay safe and injury free. We'll start by exploring the different types of injuries that can occur if you're not careful with your kneeling and squatting techniques. From back strains to knee injuries, we'll shine a light on the potential risks involved. Then we'll dive into the good stuff, recommended techniques for kneeling and squatting. Yep, there's a right way to do it, folks, and we're going to walk you through step by step. And last but not least, we'll talk about the gear that can help keep you safe when you're down on your knees, because sometimes a little extra support can make all the difference. Oh, and before we get started, a quick reminder. While kneeling and squatting can be useful, it's important to know your limits. Limit the time you spend in these positions, and whatever you do, avoid twisting your back. Trust me, your spine will thank you. Let's dive in. When it comes to kneeling and squatting, doing it wrong can lead to a whole host of issues. Over time, these improper techniques can take their toll, resulting in a range of injuries that can cause anything from mild discomfort to serious musculoskeletal problems. First up, strained muscles. When you're not using the right form, you're putting extra strain on your muscles, which can lead to soreness and stiffness. And then there's knee pain. Kneeling and squatting incorrectly can put undue stress on your knees, leading to pain and discomfort. Lower back pain is another common complaint. Poor posture and improper technique can wreak havoc on your lower back, causing aches and pains that can be downright debilitating. Joint injuries are a real risk too. Whether it's your knees, hips, or ankles, improperly performed kneeling and squatting can increase the likelihood of joint damage over time. Cartilage damage is no joke. The repetitive stress of improper techniques can wear down the cartilage in your joints, leading to pain, swelling, and decreased mobility. Tendonitis is another potential issue. The tendons in your knees and hips can become inflamed and painful with overuse or improper movement patterns. Nerve compression is a risk as well. Poor posture and improper technique can put pressure on the nerves in your spine, leading to tingling, numbness, and even weakness in your legs. And let's not forget about overuse injuries. Doing the same movements over and over again with poor technique can lead to overuse injuries like tendonitis and bursitis, which can both be painful and limiting. So as you can see, there's a lot at stake when it comes to proper kneeling and squatting techniques. By learning and practicing the right form, you can help prevent these injuries and keep yourself healthy and pain-free. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. All right, let's talk technique specifically the recommended ways to kneel and squat. Here's what the pros suggest. When it comes to kneeling, there are a few key points to keep in mind. First off, maintain a straight or neutral back position as much as possible. This helps reduce strain on your spine. Slowly lower one knee to the floor while extending the other leg slightly behind you. Shift your weight onto the foot of the opposite leg, ensuring that your hips stay in line with your shoulders. Once you're in a half kneeling position, adjust your legs to shoulder width apart for better balance. If you need to move into a fully kneeling position, shift your weight to the knee resting on the ground and gently pull your other leg under you. Bring your knees together and distribute your weight evenly between them. Now let's talk about squatting. Here's how to do it right. Start by keeping your back straight or neutral, just like with kneeling. Position your feet slightly wider than your hips or shoulders, depending on your body type. Ensure that your feet have three solid points of contact with the floor, your big toe, little toe, and heel. Activate your abs, glutes, and quads to support your back and prevent strain. Lower yourself into the squat by engaging your hamstrings and allowing your buttocks to drop down between your heels. 
Keep your knees pushing out in the same direction as your toes. And remember, only go as deep into the squat as is comfortable for you. Listen to your body and don't push yourself too far. Now there's been some debate in the medical community about whether your knees should go beyond your toes when squatting. If you're unsure about what's best for you, don't hesitate to chat with your medical provider or a physical therapist. If you're spending a lot of time on your knees, it's worth considering some equipment that can help minimize knee pain and discomfort. Here are a few options. First up, knee pads. These handy accessories provide cushioning and support for your knees, making kneeling tasks a lot more bearable. Next, we have kneeling mats. Similar to knee pads, these mats offer extra cushioning and protection for your knees, especially when working on hard surfaces. For those who need a bit more support, there are kneeling seats or chairs. These ergonomic solutions provide a raised platform for kneeling, reducing the strain on your knees and back. And let's not forget about kneeling stools. These portable seats offer a comfortable alternative to traditional kneeling, allowing you to work at a lower height without putting pressure on your knees. Now, before you start using any equipment, be sure to inspect it for wear or damage. If you notice any issues, report them to your supervisor immediately and do not use damaged equipment. And if you have any questions about kneeling equipment provided by your company, don't hesitate to reach out to your supervisor for guidance. With the right equipment, you can make kneeling tasks more comfortable and minimize the risk of knee pain and discomfort. So don't be afraid to invest in your comfort and safety on the job. And that wraps up today's lesson on kneeling and squatting techniques. Here's a quick recap. Kneeling and squatting are common movements we use in various settings, whether it's at home or on the job, but it's important to perform these movements correctly to avoid discomfort or injury. If you have any questions about your ability to kneel or squat safely, don't hesitate to reach out to your medical provider or physical therapist for guidance. That's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, be sure to connect with us on social media for more safety tips and resources. And as always, stay safe out there. Until next time.